guys, it is Sunday and typically Sundays have been good for me. Busy when I come out here, I'm like expecting to get these wheels to move in right away. And I have turned on all the apps, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Spark. And the only two apps that are ringing in so far is Uber Eats and Spark, but none of the offers have been good. They have been either high miles or low pay as they usually are. My first Spark order that I got was for $22.61. Yes, the $22.61 sounds good, but the offer is in another city, which is probably 20 minutes or so from me. And then once I get there, I have 5.6 miles till I drop the offer off. That is just too far for me to go pick up that order. Then I got an offer from Uber Eats, $4.08. That pay is just way too low. Mileage was four miles. Absolutely not. Not the kind of offer that I'm looking for. Then Uber Eats wanted to send me another one. They were rolling in $13.59 for 14.8 miles. The miles are high. The pay is too low for that high of miles. Plus, I wouldn't take something that high of miles anyways. Then they wanted to send me another one. Like I said, they were coming in at $6.53 for 7.2 miles. I haven't even heard from DoorDash. I got to check the app and make sure it's still on. But, um starting the sunday off not so good i'm gonna see how this evening goes hopefully things will pick up i moved locations from where i was at and um, i'm heading to another spot where there's other restaurants maybe it'll be a little bit busier over there maybe people are ordering a little later tonight that is a possibility um so we're gonna find out what's gonna be the first offer hopefully these bad offers stop coming in and i get something reasonable so i will be back at you guys all right guys i was getting a real concern here's some more that i ended up declining uber eats 20.7 miles for 19 dollars. yes the 19 dollars sounds nice but not for 20 miles that was going to take me into another city way too far out and then doordash finally sent me an offer nine dollars 75 cents for 10.9 miles but there was two orders included in that that was a decline for me and then spark sent me something that i can take a shopping and deliver order 16 dollars and 63 cents for 1.5 miles it is an apartment but it looks like some simple items should be quick and easy so i am heading to walmart to do some shopping i've arrived at walmart i was just checking over the list really quick to see what i'm going to be shopping for i have bread butter eggs a case of coca-cola some lucky charms toilet paper and a couple of pumpkins which I don't even know if I even see any pumpkins, but I guess I'll find out when I get in there. So we are going shopping. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start shopping and get to shopping. So we got the toilet paper first, and I think I know where that is. Plus it has the aisle and the section. So we're gonna head over there. So I found the toilet paper and they want the quilted northern and it's blue but they have a purple one seems like they're out of the ones they want so i'm gonna hit can't find and then it gives me the purple one which they have and they want one of those so i'm gonna grab one of these and scan the barcode what is it 12. Yeah, this should be it. Let's try that again. Scan. Okay, second time's a charm. I was like, what? <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay, toilet paper is done. Now to Lucky Charms. So the aisle number was wrong. It was actually one aisle over, which happens sometimes because grocery stores are always moving things. And I spot the Lucky Charms. Grab them. Let's see if I can get it out. <laughs> a tall box. All 
right, had a little struggle trying to get that out. It's a tall box. Uh, let's go ahead and scan this. Good to go. Now off to the bread. Hopefully that's on the right aisle. So they are wanting bagels. I thought it was bread. So the everything which I spot, this should be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan. Good to go. Now to the Coca-Cola. So found the Coca-Cola. It was not on the aisle that is stated. Um, I had to look for it, so, but I kind of had an idea where it was. Now they want the mini ones. So that is what I'm looking for. Hopefully they have them. Oh, I spot them. Okay. It's actually in a little tiny box. Um, it looks like it is 10 pack. It's a little box. Look at how little that is. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and scan and we're good to go. Okay, cool. So off to the cream cheese. They obviously need that for their everything bagels and uh, that should be in the cold section behind me. All right, I actually just walked past this. So I was like, where is the cream cheese? It is cold over here. Um, I was wandering around because I had passed it and I uh, had to backtrack. So they want the original eight ounce. So let me see where that is. Okay, I think this is it. <laughs> eight ounces, eight ounces. There is a lot of different flavors for the cream cheese but scanning will tell me if I have the right one. Wrong UPC, but it did that before. Oh, it's whipped, it says whipped. I'm confused, it says original whipped. <laughs> um, okay, we're back to searching for the correct one. All right, this has to be it. Scan the barcode. Yay, we're good. Now off to the eggs, which I went over to the eggs, so I know where those are. Okay, eggs, great value, large white eggs. I think I found them. And we're gonna scan and it will tell me. Yay, okay, pumpkins. No location, I'm gonna have to find out if they even have a pumpkin, so we're gonna go look for those. All right, I walked right past them because they are getting low. All right, most of the pumpkins are rotten with no stem, so I did my best. They're a little rough looking, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to check out now. Oh no, just uh, entering the stuff for the bags. They want to know how many bags I have ah. for the app. So, oh, okay. the little steps, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, it took me a little longer because of the pumpkins. I walked right past them because, you know, with, with Halloween and stuff, before Halloween, the pumpkins are like sticking up out of the crates. Well, there's only a few at the bottom now and a lot of them are rotten. You guys are gonna see this video after Halloween, but Halloween is tomorrow and there is a lot of rotten pumpkins sitting at the bottom. I did my best to get the best pumpkins. You know, that's I, I got something decent. I didn't have a lot to pick from. A majority of them were rotten. You could poke holes right through them. The stems were coming off. Um, so hopefully, I'm assuming these are probably for some kids. I'm sure they'll still have a good time carving them. Took me about 20 minutes to do the shopping. Like I said, the pumpkins kind of held everything up. There were a few aisles that did not match up in the phone. I've noticed that kind of recently. I know some of the stores are moving things around, especially the grocery store that I go to. Some of the stuff's not on the aisle where it usually is. Usually you can just go straight there and you know where to get your stuff at. 
well, lately things have been kind of off. Anyways, customer is five minutes, 1.4 miles. We are heading there now. I need to get these wheels back to moving. Man, oh man, looking for a pumpkin when you don't got very many pickings. Uh, that was a little bit difficult um, having to get into those bins. I had to go back to those bins a few times. You know, they're, they're probably for some kids, so I wanna make sure they have something decent to carve out of. So uh, yeah, let's go get this dropped off. Customers orders dropped off. So I gave a knock, but I also sent them a text message. One, letting them know that their order's at their door and also letting them know I did my best on picking out those pumpkins because most of them were rotten. The stems, one, they didn't even have any stems, a lot of them, or the stems were really soft. And one of those pumpkins had a really soft stem. So I just wanted to kind of give them a heads up that I did my best. So they got their pumpkins. Um, like I said, Halloween's tomorrow, so hopefully Hopefully that will um, get the job done for them with a little bit of carving if that's what they're doing with them. So before I could get my other apps turned on, Spark sent me another shopping order, which I love the Spark shopping orders. They usually go really smooth. Of course, sometimes it's not gonna go smooth. One, the stuff's not on the aisle, or two, a pumpkin hunt on what's left of them. So I am gonna head back to the store. This one's for $24.73 for 5.3 miles. The store is right around the corner. I'm hoping to make this one a lot quicker. Um, so we're going to go in there and hopefully it is. All right, guys, we are heading back to Walmart to do some more shopping and I'm going to see how quick I can get this one done. So here we go. All right, I am on the fourth item right now and I actually set my timer for 20 minutes. Um, one item I couldn't find, which was the bananas because they were rotten, um, but we are going to go ahead and grab this and keep it moving. All right, I am on to the apples. I have 11 minutes left, or at least that's the timer that I set for myself. And the produce is real iffy. Um, <laughs> this bag looks pretty decent, but the bananas, like I said, were not looking good. So I, I put unavailable. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the barcode for this. And we're good there now to the coconut. Hopefully they have the coconut. I will check back in with you guys. I'm on a move. All right, I've got the customer a nice coconut, but you gotta really check the produce. Some of it is not looking good. This one is leaking. Um, yeah, so, but I got him something nice. It is bagged up and we're gonna continue on. All right, guys, I have three minutes left according to my timer for the 20 minutes. I have three items left, but I'm still in the produce. And in case you don't know, you can hit the back button and it gives you the list. And there is two items still in produce, which is further away from the milk. So I wanna get these and then go do the milk because it'll have you running around. So I am gonna go ahead and go find this yellow squash and hopefully get out of here soon. All right, final item. I don't know what I did. The substitution popped up, but um, I must have accidentally hit it. So they, I think they want two of these. It says two items. The milk's the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these, scan it, and head to checkout. Four bags. Next. Scan the QR code, which is right there. And we are good to go. And I got my exit pass just in case somebody stops me. All right, shopping took me a total of 30 minutes from when I started until I got to my car. So I had set a timer for 20 minutes. Of course, I went past that. I had to deal with some produce and some issues. A lot of the produce was rotten. Um, the squash looked fine, but when, when you started examining it, there was like, mold starting to grow on it. So I'm like, thank goodness I caught that. I had to dig around and try to find some good one. So the produce can be tricky, especially when it looks like no new stuff has been restocked. There's a lot of old stuff in there. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's done. I got everything except for the bananas. The bananas were no good. Um, they wanted organic, and if they didn't have organic, they wanted the regular, but the banana selection was no good, and there was barely any to choose from, kind of like the pumpkins from earlier. So the customer is 11 minutes, 5.2 miles. We are heading there now. Going to go get this dropped off.
spark orders dropped off. It was a house, smooth, easy drop off. I rang the bell and she came right out and said, thank you. So we're good there. Turned on the other apps and the orders are rolling in now. Earlier when I started, I'm like, what is going on? Sundays have been really good lately. And now the orders are rolling in. I got an Uber Eats order, hadn't even had to decline nothing yet. $19.09 for two orders for 9.2 miles. So I'm kind of out of my area of where I usually am. This is actually gonna take me back to my area, which is awesome for $19.09. So we are heading to, I think it said, one of a, I think they're two chicken places, Buffalo Wild Wings and, and a Big's Chicken. So we're picking up some wings and chicken, I guess. So we're heading there now. Uh, first pickup is nine minutes, 4.6 miles. But like I said, it's gonna take me to the area that I want to be eventually. So we're heading there now. Uh, yes, for I told it's trying to add something on. Um, it's for Emma R. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You too. All right, so I've got the order from Buffalo Wild Wings. So I'm in there, and I'm sure the camera picked this up, but I'm in there, and again, I have two orders to pick up. Buffalo Wild Wings, which I have, and then Big's Chicken, which is right around the corner, two minutes. But my phone starts going off for Uber Eats again, and it's additional $10 for an additional five miles on top of the nine miles that I've already taken. And so I'm thinking, interesting, I have not seen this before. That would be three orders. <laughs> um, have you guys seen anything like that before? I didn't take it because it would be an additional five miles on top of it. And I wasn't sure where it was going to take me. Um, five miles on top of what I've already taken is going to take me out somewhere. And there are some hilly areas that I don't want to go it's not worth it. So I didn't take it. So plus that's, that's three orders, you know? So, um, have you guys seen that before with Uber Eats? That was very interesting. I'm like, wait a minute. Did they drop my other order? But no, it is still here right there. So, um, yeah, interesting. So we are heading to Big's Chicken and uh, hopefully that order will be ready. <laughs> Picking up for that's me. Awesome, thank you. I've got the big chicken order. Sometimes the parking can be a little funky over here, uh, but I know where there is a spot right around the corner. I gotta put my hazards on and run in. Um, there was a spot up front, but I was in the other lane, so I couldn't even get it, but I knew where the spot was that I usually go to. It's always open because you're not technically supposed to park here. I haven't gotten a ticket yet. Um, I know it's kind of risky sometimes, but I make it quick and they've been good having their food ready, at least the times that I picked up from them. So customer, and it is the, the oh, Buffalo Wild Wings, the first order I picked up, five minutes, 1.3 miles. We're heading there now. Smooth, easy drop off. Customer left a note not to ring the bell or knock, and I think it's because they have a dog. The dog heard me when I was coming up, but luckily it didn't start barking, just gave a couple barks. So, left the order. Next customer for the Big's Chicken is five minutes at 2.4 miles. We're on our way. Orders dropped off. It was an apartment. Customer left some detailed notes, except I got myself confused thinking it was another apartment complex that I had delivered to in the past, which is, con it's a confusing complex. And I ended up calling the customer because to me, I thought that I wasn't at the right entrance. We'll come to find out there's only one entrance to this complex. I just needed to drive a little bit further in and uh, sure enough, I found it. So that order's dropped off. On the way here, Uber Eats sent me another offer. I guess it's it's gotten busy finally. <laughs> uh, $8.44 for 3.5 miles for McDonald's, which is down the road. I am heading there next. So I am gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this ride along, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future notifications. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.